Hello everyone and welcome to morning coffee break and I'm not taking a drink yet of my coffee because in a minute I'm going to be trying out this new coffee that was sent to us. So anyway, let's get things started. Uh, today's Tuesday, April 30th. Uh, it's mostly cloudy. Uh, current, uh, currently it's uh, 68 degrees. High today is 75. Uh, chance of rain 15% and winds at 5 mile per hour right now. Um, today's Tuesday, so that means it's Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tonight, everybody. And it's going to be an interesting show. I mean, we're going to have a, a lot of it. They're always interesting, but I mean, these are going to be different in that we'll have snacks from two different uh, viewers, you know, that sent them to us uh, and, and, and wives. Because uh, this was sent to us by Chase and Chelsea. Uh, if you haven't seen the HEB unboxing yet, check it out. And then all the other stuff was sent to us by Sherry Gann, and you can see that unboxing uh, further on back. I have a playlist of unboxings, so it would probably be easier for you to go to that, but uh, to check that out. So, so what we're going to do is, like each week, we're going to take like a couple from uh, Sherry's and a couple from uh, Chase and Chelsea's, and a couple of the stuff we already, uh, a couple of the items we already had. So it's going to be really neat, um, and I, I'm. I'm really uh, been interested in this uh, this coffee. Let me see if I have anything else I need to say first. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have um, unless they want something else. Uh, orange chicken. Uh, see, we just had rice the other day, so I'm not for sure about this. We just had that ultimate fried rice. Uh, but anyway, we might orange chicken, jasmine rice, and vegetable egg rolls. If not, we're gonna switch it out with. Something else. We were supposed to have fish the other day, and we didn't have it. We had something else. So uh, we might have the fish then. I have to, you know, I, I try to plan ahead, but it doesn't work out that way all the time. <laughs> I'll put a question mark and put fish. Uh, so, okay, we got some jokes now. No, I think I'll go ahead and try this coffee. Anyway, here it is. Uh, you can see in the thumbnail, of course. Uh, this is... Uh, Cafe Ole by H-E-B. And let me see if I can remember what that stands for. Uh, here, everything's better. I believe what H-E-B stands for. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here, everything's better. And this is um, Texas Pecan uh, Coffee. It's 100% Arabica Coffee. It says... Uh, Cafe Ole by H-E-B, ground, medium, roast, Texas pecan, uh, naturally and artificially flavored, medium bodied with creamy caramel and Texas pecan flavors. So, and did you know that uh, they, uh, I mentioned this the other day, and some, I mean, somebody told me why uh, they don't have nutrition facts for uh, coffee, because I think that basically it's just caffeine you know or something but I've heard coffee's really good for you anyway so I don't know uh, why they don't have them I mean I know that's why they don't have them because it's I guess a beverage and it's I don't know they have them on coca-colas and stuff though I don't know it, it's just you know I think it was it didn't have hardly any things in it to list or something but let me try so I can smell it already Oh man, that is great. Uh, and I, you know, I don't need any creamer uh, in anything like this. Um, and not that it wouldn't be good. I mean, Logan, I'm sure would love to put some, some type of maybe a vanilla creamer or whatever in this, but I'm not much on creamers. So I'd really like uh, the flavor of this. You can definitely taste uh, pecan and like I said, like a hint of caramel. Yeah, uh, they said that was this was their favorite coffee, so I understand why. This is really great. Thank you so much. That is really good stuff, you know. All right. Um, okay, jokes of the day. Sarcasm will get you nowhere in life, my boss told me. Well, it got me to the International Sarcasm Finals in San Diego, Chile, in 2009, I informed him. Really, he asked. No, I said. A girl was 
walking on the sidewalk. She sees a man lying on the street needing immediate help. The victim says that he is having a heart attack. The girl asked people around the street and a man approached. Girl, help, are you a doctor? Man, I am a doctor, what's going on? A heart attack. I am a doctor in mathematics. He is going to die. Prove it. <laughs> Come on, just help the poor guy. Good grief. And the start of the day, I don't know. It, um, I think it's more like a quote from a like um, a, a, a book or a movie or something because it says Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. It says, "Never marry at all, Dorian." Men marry because they are tired. Women because they are curious. Both are disappointed. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm thinking that's from like a movie or something. Uh, okay, now where was... Um, I had one. I think this was it. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. What... Okay, let me see if it needs to go to it first before I, I, some of you got to answer it first and then it'll go to it. So anyway, what river did George Washington famously cross in 1776? Colorado River, Missouri River, Mississippi River, Delaware River. Go to it. Okay, yeah, Colorado River, Missouri River, Mississippi River, Delaware River. I want to say Delaware. That's right. Let's see. On December 25, 1776, Patriot General George Washington crossed the Delaware River with 5,400 troops, hoping to surprise a Hessian force celebrating Christmas at the Winter Quarters in Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, the unconventional attack came after several months of substantial defeats for Washington's army that had resulted in the loss of New York City and other strategic points in the area. Next question. Oh, no. Which U.S. president is pictured on the $5,000 bill? Hmm. Grover Cleveland. John F. Kennedy, Martin Van Buren, James Madison. I was actually thinking it was somebody else, uh, but I'm obviously not. Grover Creek, Cleveland, John F. Kennedy, Martin Van Buren, James Madison. I want to say, and I have, I think I have seen one of these before. Um, I'm thinking Grover Cleveland. Oh, it's not. It is James Madison. Okay, just learned something. I think I've seen one, but I, I obviously I didn't remember who was actually on it. Um, so yeah, James Madison. The faces on larger denominations that are out of circulation, the five hundred thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand dollar bills, are also those of men who served as president and treasury, tre treasury secretary. James Madison's face appears on the $5,000 bill. Next question, one right, one wrong. Which U.S. state is bordered by two oceans? Which U.S. state is bordered by two oceans? Maine, California, Alaska, Hawaii. No, it's, uh, okay, Maine, California, Alaska, Hawaii. Um, wow, I'm not for sure about this. I, I'm going to have to say Hawaii, though. No, and I was thinking Alaska, too, but I was thinking, you know, the where it was, I didn't know if the other ocean would come up that far. I was sitting here, that's what I was thinking. But obviously, I was, it, it was Alaska. Alaska is a state located in the western United States on the northwest extremity of North America, a semi-enclave of the U.S. It borders the Canadian province of British Columbia and Yukon Territory to the east. So anyway, oh, it's the Arctic uh, Ocean. 
and then one of the Pacific Ocean. So I didn't think about. I, I was thinking like Atlantic and Pacific. So I didn't think you know there's any way. Um, so if they're they're thinking Arctic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. So that that definitely threw me. So I learned something. That's that's great. One right and two wrong. What is the official name of a jury's final decision? Acquittal, felon, perjury, verdict. Everybody's watched, you know, like court, uh, courtroom stuff in, you know, series on TV and, well, Judge Judy. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, what? Acquittal, felon, perjury, verdict. It's a verdict. Yes. In law, a verdict is a formal finding of fact made by a jury on matters or questions submitted to the jury by a judge. Uh, it goes on about uh, more stuff about that. Uh, too right, too wrong. New Zealanders share their nickname with what fruit? Lemon, kiwi, apple, blueberries. Lemon, kiwi, apple, blueberries. Sounds like a good uh, salad, fruit salad. <laughs> well, I don't know about lemon, though. Uh, it's I'm going to say kiwi. Yep. Kiwi is a common self-reference used by New Zealanders, though it is also used internationally. Unlike many demographic labels, its usage is not considered offensive, rather is generally viewed as a symbol of pride and affection for most people of New Zealand. Okay. They're, the name derives from Kiwi, a native flightless bird, okay, which is their national symbol. So it's not like the Kiwi fruit. <laughs> Phobophobia is the fear of what? Fear of being sad. Fear of ducks, fear of being afraid, fear of snakes, phobophobia, fear of being sad, fear of ducks, fear of being afraid, fear of snakes. I'm, I say that would be fear of being afraid. That's right. Uh, phobophobia is an extreme fear of being afraid. While this condition may sound redundant, it's a very real and complex disorder that can take a few forms. Hmm, that would be awful. I have anxiety sometimes. That's awful. But I can't imagine that. Uh, in the sitcom Friends, which character sings the song Smelly Cat? Monica, Phoebe, Ross, Joey. I'm not for sure which one it is. I know it's, let's see, Monica, Phoebe, Ross, Joey. I, I guess I'm going to say Phoebe. And that's right. I don't even know that much about, I remember that song though. <laughs> so I, I must have been on one of them I watched. Smelly Cat is a, som a comedy song from the American sitcom Friends. Performed by American actress Lisa Kudrow. The song was written by Friends writers Adam Chase and Betsy Borns, with musician Chrissy Hind and Kudrow for the later latter's character Phoebe Buffy. No, well, keeps on. Which well-known international symbol was designed by a college student? Recycling logo. Coca-Cola logo. Adidas logo, Internet Explorer logo. Um, I uh, I did hear something about this, so I'm, I'm I might be thinking the wrong thing. Recycling logo, Coca Cola logo, Adidas logo, Internet Explorer logo. I um seems like I heard something about that with Adidas. Now I could be wrong. No, it's the recycling, and that was my first thought. And then I, I saw the Adidas one. It might be Nike. One of them, I think their symbol was, you know, by somebody pretty young or something. Anyway, it's the recycling, and I should have stuck with my first thought. 
you know, that's what happens. In 1970, Gary Anderson was a 23-year-old college student at the University of Southern California when a Chicago container company held a design contest to raise awareness about the environment. Anderson's submission won and it became the internationally recognized recycling logo. Five right and three wrong, two more left. Roger Federer, Federer is famous for playing which sport? Tennis, soccer, golf, baseball. Hmm, I don't keep up with it. I've heard that name before though. Tennis, soccer, golf, baseball. Um, I'm going to say baseball. No, it's tennis. Tennis. I have heard that name uh, somewhere. Roger Federer is a former Swiss professional tennis player widely considered as one of, if not the best of all time. One more. From which colony did the most signers of the Constitution come? Massachusetts, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. From which colony did the most signers of the Constitution? Massachusetts, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Um, wow. Maryland? No, it's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. All of the colonies were represented in Philadelphia to consider the delicate case for independence and to change the course of the war. In all, there were 56 representatives from the 13 colonies. This keeps going on. 14 represented the New England colonies, 21 represented the Middle colonies, and 21 represented the Southern colonies. So, anyway, I ended up dead even at 5-5. Five, five. Um, I... You know, I second-guessed myself on a couple of them, but I'm, I'm glad I missed because I learned. I learned the right answer, and I'll probably remember, you know, maybe 90% of them. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's trivia time and morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks for the wonderful coffee, Chase and Chelsea. You're right, it's great. I love it. All right, everybody, check out Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews tonight, and you'll see some more interesting items that we'll try. Have a great day, everybody, and God bless.